Just another day, sitting and scrolling on TikTok, having a bunch of weird food combinations or satisfying foods come up on my For You page that just make me wanna say, I need to try that immediately. I'm gonna be trying TikTok foods today. We gotta go get the goods. Oh, I can talk to you like a microphone. I can feel your body rock. So many freaking teenagers here and I forget that teenagers kind of terrify me and I'm really uncomfortable to film. Grapes. I need a milk chocolate bar. I don't know what else I need. I'm having a brain fart because I'm anxious. Do I have to buy a whole box of them? Can I just buy individual ones? I need squinkles. Okay, it's just in complete fear of a couple teenage girls that left in the aisle. Teenage girls are scary. Guys don't understand how <laughs> scary teenage girls are when you're not a teenage girl anymore. Even when you are a teenage girl, other teenage girls are scary. Let's get oh, in. I do. <laughs> Stop. You're filming me. Oh, you you're weren't doing anything. You weren't me? doing anything at the moment, okay? Just trying to keep the viewers occupied. <laughs> Hi. Yes, it needs to be one whole pickle. Oh. We have yeah, those yeah. here every time. It is almost 9 p.m. and I'm gonna have to find somewhere that has a pickle. I just feel like I, if I stay here long enough that the pickles are gonna magically appear. Two seconds later. We found the pickles. Oh snap. Gone dilly. <laughs> I knew they had the freaking pickles, Tyler. I was right. Tyler said there wasn't any of these pickles here. I'm, I'm right. As always. Gotta let her think what she wants. Alright. <laughs> Goods acquired. There's usually always a food on TikTok that I want to try, but I never really get around to trying it. I have quite a few right now, so I was like, mm, I'm a YouTuber, why not just film a YouTube video trying them? First food that we're gonna try is the chamoy pickle. We got our pickle, fruit roll up, Lucas chamoy. Squinkles, I've never tried these. Takis, tahine. And the more Lucas Chamoy stuff, this is a sweet and sour powder. We're gonna cheat a little bit with the Chamoy pickle. Most of the time the pickle is red and you get the pickle red by putting a whole pickle, stab it a bunch of times, put a bunch of Chamoy and tahine and you let it like marinate in it for a week. I'm not waiting to do that because I wanna taste it right now. We're just gonna do it with like a normal pickle and hope for the best. When I see the Chamoy pickle, my mouth waters, I love absolutely everything here. I've always loved Mexican candy and people used to sell it at my school all the time and I would buy that shit up. If I'm pronouncing stuff wrong, I'm sorry. Just literally correct me in the comments, please, and educate me. Do I open this? Like that? Mm. If you're on TikTok and you have seen a lot of the weird food things, you've probably seen the chamoy pickle. If you're like me, then your mouth was watering and you were like, I need to try that immediately. It went super viral. Now a bunch of people are coming out and saying that it's like really disgusting. Everyone's like, you guys lied to me. This is so gross. So now I don't even know. These are the squinkles. Oh, that is so bomb. Is this like little sauce to put on it? <gasps> I need to pace myself because I'm really hungry, but we low-key have like a lot of crap to eat. Here's our pickle. Oh my gosh, our pickle is so much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. That is a pathetic looking pickle. I'm gonna try and cut some of the inside of the pickle out just so we can like shove more of the stuff in it. These pickles are hit or miss. Sometimes they're really big and then sometimes they're super small. <laughs> Mm, that's what she said. Our pickle has a hole. We're gonna wrap our pickle in a fruit roll-up. Now, before I start shoving a bunch of stuff in, I'm gonna put some of the chamoy in there already so that when we bite into it, we can taste it. I've also seen people make these in a bunch of different ways. Yeah. 
Why do companies make everything so hard to open? Like I get you don't want people to steal stuff, but I bought this and I can't even open it. This is the sour chamoy powder. <coughs> I don't know why it stuff made me cough so bad. I just like inhaled it. I think this is the part I'm most excited for. I don't know why, but I really, really like the squiggles. So we're gonna shove these jones in there. Ew, I just made the grossest squirty noise ever. A lot of people put gushers in there too, but I kind of forgot to buy those. We're gonna put some tahini on there. Now we're gonna shove Takis in here. And now we're gonna like drown it in freaking chamoy. More of the powder, a little more tahini. I am so excited. If this is actually like horrible, I'm gonna be really upset. It's not bad. This is not for the picky eaters though. This is looking kind of bomb. I'm not gonna lie, like this is kind of, this is kind of good. One thing with me though is tahini kind of burns my stomach for some reason, sadly. Like I could eat this sh all day by the bottle, but it hurts my stomach, it like burns. Just from one bite, I can feel my stomach burning. It gets you back here though. That is so good. I want to eat like the rest of it, but I have so many other snacks that we're going to try. I'm so happy that this one tasted good because I was going to be so sad. I feel like a lot of people that were saying that they don't like this don't like the ingredients like by themselves. Okay, I'm going to clean up and we're going to go on to the next one. That one strawberry video with chocolate drizzled all over it where it's like the wah, 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 you know what I'm, you know? I hear you. Kaylee, that isn't a TikTok food that's been around for a million years. This is just an excuse to have chocolate covered strawberries, okay? I've never actually had chocolate covered strawberries in that way of that video. I've had like dipped chocolate covered strawberries. First, we're gonna melt our chocolate. I'm gonna leave it in the foil and I actually don't own a microwave. So I'm gonna just set this in some hot water. I got my warm water and I'm just setting that in there. Hopefully that works. While that's melting, we're gonna cut up my strawberries and I'm just gonna cut them up in fourths. This sounds very refreshing after the last one. The last one's low-key making my tummy like move around a little bit, but some nice fresh strawberries sound very bomb and calming to my stomach right now. Our strawberries are gorgeous. Chocolate is completely melted. I'm gonna just cut off a corner. Oh my gosh, there's like water in the chocolate, oops. I don't want to mess it up. It's so beautiful. Chocolate's like hardened already. I honestly don't know why I've never done this before because this is just like dipped strawberries, but so much quicker and so much easier. I absolutely despise when you go to bite into chocolate covered strawberry, the chocolate just completely cracks off. Or when you pick the chocolate covered strawberry up, like half of the chocolate is like stuck to the plate. They're just very inconvenient and they're always like a romantic thing, but you can't look sexy eating a chocolate covered strawberry. Next one. Ice cream and fruit roll up. You put ice cream in a fruit roll up and the fruit roll up gets like crunchy. I actually really don't like vanilla ice cream. It's not like it tastes bad, it's just I would never gravitate towards vanilla ice cream. I'm definitely a chocolate girl, but I felt like chocolate in a fruit roll up would be weird. We're just gonna make like a little taco. Oh, that cold. Hmm. It's not as good as I thought. <laughs> this one was kind of a letdown. I don't know. The crunch isn't as satisfying. Like when you start to chew it, the fruit roll up gets chewy again. My teeth are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to bite into ice cream. That's like the thing that I don't like about it too. This one was kind of a miss, but we had to have one miss in there, right? Next one. Last one. We have moved to the kitchen because I am going to be making Tong Hulu. I am so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Tong Hulu. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Mr. Binks 
This cute little stove top cover that we have is actually because Binks almost killed himself the other day. To set the scene, it's 3 a.m. I just had my new fixation snack, which is goldfish and cream cheese, and I had to put the cream cheese back in the fridge. I walk right here and it's pitch black dark. Binks is on top of the stove. We have these real things, they come in two, but you can tell are very big and they're very freaking heavy. He has been jumping on the counters nonstop. I've tried foil, I've tried just picking him up, taking him down, playing with a toy after because cats don't listen to negative reinforcement and just nothing works with this cat. It works with all my other cats and for some reason he just won't stop jumping on the counters. And it's been like a thing recently, like he hasn't done this forever. So I walk in and he knows he's not supposed to go on the counter so he gets freaked out. He freaks and starts like <laughs> somehow gets his foot stuck and within like two seconds he falls and brings this on top of him and falls on the floor. I don't even know how a cat could have like lifted this off. Like I, I genuinely don't know how. Like scream bloody murder because when things happen I just scream like it's a reflex. I can't even help it. My boyfriend comes running out and he was like what happened? Are you being murdered? I explain it to him. There is a patch of Binx's hair stuck to this thing. He bolts and he's super puffy because he's like terrified of what just happened but I know it fell on him so I know he's hurt. I'm trying to see what's hurt on him but he's acting super skittish and weird, super low to the ground so I can't tell if he's hurt. He had grease all over him. Kind of looked like it fell on his leg more. I couldn't tell if he was limping because he was so low to the ground. I could tell he wasn't like hurt hurt where his head was hurt or something weird like that. So we went to bed. In the morning, we found this big giant gash like on his leg and he definitely was limping on it. We instantly go to the emergency animal hospital. I tell them like x-ray, do it all. I want to make sure there's no fracture. He's perfectly fine. He went on painkillers the next few days. He was high as a kite. His eyes were just fully black and he was like very like wobbly all over the place But I definitely made sure to get a cover for that so that never happens again because I was terrifying Anyways, we're gonna get into making the tong hulu. This one's low-key harder to make I've only seen people do this with fruit. Main one I've seen is grapes that has this clear coating on it And I found out that it is just sugar But the tricky part is is you have to get the sugar at a certain amount of degrees and you have to take it off the heat dip it in dip it in ice and it has to be done so quickly and it's so easy to make it sticky. I'm going to be using cotton candy grapes. One of the main things that I've heard is that you need your fruit to be completely dry when you do it or it like won't work. I'm just gonna pick like all the really good ones that I see because I also want this to like look really good and then putting them on the ske skewers. Skewers. I hate that word. I think I'm just gonna start out with doing three of them. Two parts sugar and one part water. One cup of sugar. Half a cup of water. Right after the fruit is dipped in the sugar, it's supposed to go in an ice bath, so I already have that ready over here. I'm so nervous. This is the part that's really hard because if you do this too early when it's not hot enough, it can be really sticky. To check if it's ready, I'm just sticking this in here, putting it in the ice bath. Like as you can see, it's still sticky. As soon as it gets like hard, that's when you know it's ready. Okay, it's definitely ready. Well, this is like way harder than I thought it was gonna be. And then you dip it in the ice. Also, before I eat this, I just want to say this is a Chinese candied fruit and you can get them as street food there. So I don't want to offend anybody in saying like, oh, I, this was made on TikTok. Like, no, this was not at all. It's just, it went viral on TikTok because it is so freaking satisfying. I'm kind of nervous that it's sticky. It's looking a little sticky. Whoa, a little sticky. It's a little sticky. I think I needed to have the sugar on the heat for like milliseconds longer. Oh, I get the hype. Holy crap. I'm definitely gonna try it again and make it not as sticky because it is really sticky in my teeth. We're gonna have a little ASMR. Pickle, eight out of 10. Mm, 
7 out of 10. It was really good, but this would hurt my stomach and I definitely would not be able to eat this all the time. But you really have to like all of these ingredients if you're gonna like it. Chocolate covered strawberries. Now, I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 because, I mean, it's chocolate covered strawberries. There's not really that much else to say. Mainly for me, it's the convenience factor because, you know, chocolate covered strawberries is kind of inconvenient. I'm gonna give this one a zero out of 10. The only reason why I'm doing that is because I am never going to eat this again in my entire life. There's not really anything else much to say. Tong Hulu, 10 out of 10. Even though I made it a little wrong and I'm going to practice, this is so bomb. I literally want to eat all of them, but it's sticking in my teeth so bad. Don't forget to follow my TikTok. If it's not banned, literally the morning after I filmed this, I found out TikTok was supposedly getting banned, possibly, I don't really know. It got passed, but then it has to get passed again it's not some weird but that kind of just makes this video hilarious because uh the one time i film a tiktok foods video um it's gonna get banned so i'm almost at a million on there i would really appreciate it i want more of the youtube fam on there tag me in videos of food that you would like me to try maybe we can make this little series comment foods you would like me to try and i love you guys so much i will see you in the next one bye I don't know if you like the way I put my words together But I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers But my like birds of scales hand to hand dropping corn shit down